that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the what you're talking about, the Kendrick Nigel core belief. Share couldn't answer it because... Uh, Die on the cross. What did Jesus die? No, 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 no. Did he said Jesus and came to die for the sin of mankind. Okay. That's the core belief. Yeah, See, that's the core belief. Yeah. So, a camera man today, please. Three minutes. Um, don't, don't, please, yeah. Leave it to us. Three minutes each. Who's gonna, who's gonna time it? Yeah, we, we need someone to time it. Come on, Lemon! Yeah. Come on, man! We, we, we need someone to time. We need timing. Oh. We, we need to time. What book you want? Anyone time it for you? Pass. And you can do all what you want. When I accept you, accept you Jesus Christ. We're debating. Now we are 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 debating. That's why we debated with him. Jesus was the savior. Yeah? So please. Who is going to time it? Yeah. We need someone to time it for us. Who is going to time it for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The debate today with Jason, back from Ghana. Stick to the point, don't go if people do I won't, I won't do last you go to the say something from Mal or Islam, let's stick to the point. Okay. Three minutes later, we see we keep our case. Uh, can we have a moderator please? Someone be a moderator? What's going on, guys? Three minutes each. Three minutes. Okay, you can have a few minutes. Oh, you've been done. It's 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 been
quoting the Quran is not evidence that Jesus did not die, Lamen. It's not evidence, bro. We believe the prophets. The prophets say he died, bro. Over to you. If it is, I've got one more minute. Though. It's okay, you can have it. Uh, that's it. Hey, today, I think you can get a Bible lesson. I'm going to go to the Quran first. I'm going to be a Bible lesson to show you that the idea that a human being can die for the sin of mankind is crap. It's bunker. Nowhere in the Old Testament, none of the Jewish prophets, if you show me a single verse in the Old Testament where any of the prophets said that because of the sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world, and because of that, God had to send his son to die for the sin of mankind and become a Christian. Nowhere. Could of Nowhere in the Old Testament. So, you live in the New Testament. So, Adam and Eve in the Quran, I'm going to Quran first. And I come to the Bible, you'll get Bible lessons. Adam and Eve in the Quran, Allah said, Adam and Eve, and it's sin. But refer to Allah, Allah forgave their sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a forgive most possible. The Quran has 114 surahs. From the first surah, surah Fatiha, to the last surah, 114 surah, surah Nas. Every surah begin, it begins with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Except uh, Surah at Surah, surah, surah number 9, which is about war. And that is a the most merciful. Do you understand? So let's go to the Quran now. If you go to the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 37. It said, Adam ibn Rahim, Kalamatim, Fatama, they know what the wow of Rahim. And Adam received some word from his Lord, and his Lord forgave him. Verily, he's the one who forgives. He forgave them. And they, when they pray to Allah to forgive, forgive them, this is mentioned in Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7, verse number 3. Adam and Eve said, Our oh Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be our only losers. Allah forgave them. Allah said He can forgive any sin except one sin. Any sin. When we sin, we turn to Allah for forgiveness. Any sin except one, which is the sin of associating part of Him, which is called shirk. This is Surah Nisa 4. 48. Allah said, Allah forgives not that pastor should be set up with him, but he forgives any other sin, any other sin to be will. And anyone who has the pastor with Allah indeed has indeed invented a tremendous sin. Allah forgives any sin. Allah said the Quran, several verses. Yeah? In uh in Surah, uh, how do you call it? Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 110. In Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 75. That when you sin, return to him, he forgives your sins. You understand? But you said, I want to know where this concept where it come from. No concept come from. Therefore, I'm Paul. Paul is the one who come with this concept. Right. Now, I'm going to give him. He's going to he's turn when I come. I'm going to go to the Bible now and give Jason Bible lessons. For them. Okay. In the Old Testament, the Lord, when Adam and Eve fell, He gave them skins to show them the skins of an animal to show there had to be a sacrifice. Cain and Abel, Abel gave a sacrifice, it was accepted, Cain's was not accepted. Abraham was told to sacrifice his son, but God provided a ram sacrifice. Uh, uh, Moses, when he was coming out of Egypt, they had the lamb, Passover lamb, and the blood was shed. As the blood was shed, they were saved from the wrath to come. Now, when Jesus said, uh, said, this is my body given for you, this is my blood given for you. It's not Paul. It's Jesus referring back to the Passover. The Passover. Abraham was taught sacrifice. Abel was taught sacrifice. Abraham was taught sacrifice. Moses was taught sacrifice. They even had the Day of Atonement once a year where animals were sacrificed. Why? Because the animals were punished. So when Jesus comes along, as my brother quoted, he said, I give my life a ransom for many. Paul did not just teach it. John, a companion of Jesus in 1 John 1 7, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now he keeps quoting the Quran. I don't accept the Quran. The Quran says we were created in eight days and six days. We've, we've looked at the Son of Manuscript, two different Qurans. Which Quran in the Son of Manuscript? Two different Qurans in the Son of Manuscript. I don't accept your Quran. I don't accept your prophet is a false prophet. I don't accept him. 
Right, I, I go with the word of God, brother. Okay. You done? Seven days. No, I'm gonna get, oh, yes, no, right. So, the word of God teaches that Jesus died for us. I will now read you Paul. He says, and through him to reconcile himself all things where on the earth in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. And in the book of Revelation, he says, the overcame by the blood of the Lamb. The overcame. Without that blood, you are lost, brothers, sisters. Without that blood, you are going to hell. You need that blood. Why? I'll give you logic now. Allah cannot just forgive. Allah is loving, but uh, God is loving. And God is just. He must punish sin. And if he punish you, you're going to hell. So God the Son came in and said, Laman, I'll take your punishment for you, bro. Yeah. Then you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Now, now, brothers and sisters, now I'm going to give this man a Bible lesson. Because I think these pastors here, they're insipid. If only they study their Bible, you're deceiving people. You say, first of all, there's no, how many Qurans are there? See, when I come here, I bring the Bibles. Only one Quran. I'm using King James. Bring a copy of the King James. I can tell you, this one said King James is corrupted. Your Bible said that. Take it to scholars. Said your King James is corrupted. I'm going to read that. I don't want to digress. It's corrupted. You read up in the end. I read that. Your Bible. I've got one Quran. Well, you got your Bible. Let's go. Look, I think you're going to go back. You said Jesus could come to die for the sin of mankind. Why? You know who said that? Paul. You read the Bible in the book of Romans. Bible lessons now. In the next. 20 minutes, I'm going to go only from the Bible. He doesn't believe in the Quran. I made an introduction. Let's go to the Bible. Come here now. You read the Bible. You know who said that? This comes from Paul. The, the New Testament has 27 books. Paul wrote half of it from the book of Romans to the book of Philemon, 13 books. And if you give the book of Hebrews to Paul, 14 books, they are following Paul. When he have the of resurrection, it's Paul. You know what Paul said? Paul is the one who said that it's a sin of Adam. That is why Jesus came. Listen to me. That's why Jesus had to come to die for the sin of mankind. Show me a single verse in the, in the Old Testament where any of the prophets or God said that because of the sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world. And because of that, he had to send uh, his begotten son to die on the cross, of, cross for the sin of mankind. If he is not there, you are on falsehood. Now let's go to Paul said. Paul said in the book of Romans, chapter number 5, verse number 12. Wherefore as well, wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all, all have sinned. Who is that Paul? Nowhere in the Old Testament, but for the said in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse number 19. Romans 5, 19. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Why did Paul get that from? Show me from the Bible, in the Old Testament, anywhere, as I said, prophet of God said that, for us why one man disobedient, many were made sinners, crucifixion, resurrection, who were to be found in the Old Testament. Let's go what God said about this. Do you know in the Old Testament? Second. How about 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to the Old Testament. I'm going to come to that. Yeah. The books this me that Isa and Esa, Jesus, came to die for the sin of mankind. He made it clear. No one can redeem the life of another person. No one can take the sin of another person. I'm going to quote that. By the time I finish that, I think this man here, pastor, will get a Bible lesson. I had a debate with him. I retired him to Ghana. He went to Ghana. They gave me a church in Ghana and a wife there. But today, inshallah, he go to Old Testament. Your church will give Inshallah. Inshallah. Go. So he, he mentioned the Quran again and this, there are different Qurans. Check the Sana manuscript. There's two Qurans there, they're different. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm answering him. His, his authority, the Quran, is not an authority. It's not the word of God. It's just a mishmash DJ book. Okay, don't worry about it. Right. Let's take the point. We have the covenants in Genesis 6, 17, 18, Genesis 9, 9, 11, Genesis 22, 8, Exodus 46, 3, Exodus 31, 12, 17, 1 Samuel 7, 11, Jeremiah 31, 34, Hebrews 8, 4, 13. We have covenant. We have the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The Old Covenant, you had to be forgiven by sacrifice. Moses had the animals to be sacrificed on the Day of Atonement. You're saying, where do we get that from? We get it in Exodus 12, 13. We get it in the Old Testament about sacrifice. The blood had to be shed. God was pointing it in the Old Testament. 
that the Messiah would come. Isaiah 53, you've not answered that. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. By the blood you have forgiveness. Muhammad did not, he, he did not have forgiveness. He doubted his faith. He doubted his faith. 46, 49. Respect, respect we said, yeah. You remember what we said? Oh, sorry. Respect the debate. I am not the first messenger ever sent, nor do I know what will happen to me. That's in the Quran. No, no, no don't, get, don't get involved, please. No, 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 no Muslims are in getting involved. Don't get involved. No, I need, yeah, I need no, no, no. no someone stole my Quran today. Okay, come, come and help no, him out. I need, I need yeah, that. We're I need sticking to the point. Please fix him. Yeah? Yeah. I asked you to bed, you run away. Right. You're scared. Come and help him out. Hey. Both of you. You're running. I can take both of you on. Then they come, don't come, don't come. I want to come here. No, 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 If you want, come here, I'm ready. Because someone stole my Quran. No, 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 guess what? Someone what? I'm getting old, I can't remember. Can you use that? No, I can't remember, they're written down. No, 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 you've got to prepare yourself when you come here. I have prepared, someone stole my Quran. If he wants, no. If he wants, he's invited. Oh, come in the come video. on, Lamen. You're no. just stalling for time. No, I'm not stalling for time. You are stalling. Go ahead. It's all our dominant now. Well, you're no, taking can... words from outside. I just read from the Quran. You're taking Listen, words from outside. I've read from the Quran. Okay, go on. I've read from okay, the Quran go. that Muhammad doubted his salvation. He did not have forgiveness now. No, no. Any Christian here, you're a Christian. No, no, go ahead. Brother, brother, you're a Christian. Are you forgiven? No, no, no. He's, your yes, he's, he's forgiven, he's cleansed. He's your teammate. If you want salvation, you can have assurance of salvation in the blood. Your view, you do not know if you're saved or not. Muhammad did not know he was saved. So this doctrine does not give you an assurance of salvation. But if you come to the blood of Jesus Christ and be washed in the blood and know that you're forgiven, when he says in the old hymn, when I survey the wondrous cross, on which the Prince of Glory died. When you understand that the Prince of Glory died for you and you come to forgiveness in the blood of Jesus, you will have an assurance. Muhammad never had an assurance of salvation. You don't have an assurance of salvation. No Muslim has an assurance of salvation today. No, no, no. Okay. You don't. Do you know you're saved today? No. No Muslim. Look, look, Jason. Go. I guess in, let's keep the debate on a very respectable level. It is, it okay, is. Okay. I'm just okay. okay. What, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, no, you've got to raise your voice. I'm not interrupting. So that's what I'm saying. You are feeling miserably. Do you understand? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got to quote from the Bible now, Old Testament now. But what I feel is, I want you to show me. Look, in the New Testament, John 5 46, Jesus said to the Jews, If you believe Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. Don't go to Isaiah. Whatever. Look, listen to me. I want you to tell him, what did Moses write about Jesus? When Jesus came, he found the law of Moses. Yeah, Moses would have prepared Jesus coming. Now, Jesus put all his eggs in one basket because Jews were giving him hard time. So John 4, John 5, 46 said to them, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. I want you to know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers of Deuteronomy. I want you to show me crucifixion, resurrection. I want to show me Jesus being God in whatever. I want to show me what did Moses wrote about Jesus. Let's go to the Old Testament. This bit I'm going to debunk. The Old Testament debunked this bit that in sin can be inherited. You read the Bible. It is mentioned in uh, in Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 18, verse number 20 to 23. 20 said, The soul that sin shall die. The soul that sin shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor shall the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteousness shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Verse 21. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins which are committed, and keep all my statutes, and does what is lawful and right, he shall solely live, he shall not die. Verse number 22. None of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him. The righteousness which he has done, he shall solely live. And verse number 23, God said, For I do not take any pleasure in the death of anyone, rather am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and leave. The box this me of Hebrews 9.22, which is with me, which said, Without the shedding of blood, there is no atonement. Every Christian believes in that. Without the shedding of blood, there is no atonement. But Ezekiel, the bankster, you read the Bible again, in the book of Numbers, in, no, in the book of uh, uh, yeah, Deuteronomy, 
In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 24, verse number 16. 16. Deuteronomy 24, 16, he said, The father shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the father. For every man shall be put to death for his own sin. You remember that? Yes, you remember that? Similar message repeated in the uh, second book of uh, Kings. Chapter number 14, verse number 6. The fathers shall not, shall not be put to death for the children. Neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers, but every man shall be put to death for his own sin. You understand that? Have you read the verse? Sin cannot be inherited. Now, I want you to tell me what did Moses write about Jesus? Now, he quoted Ezekiel. What he forgets in Ezekiel, Ezekiel stood under the temple. The temple was a sacrifice. So you, the whole prophet Ezekiel believed in the temple and the temple was sacrificed. So you're taking those scriptures out of context of Ezekiel. Moses, you quote in Moses, but Moses had the tabernacle and the tabernacle had the sacrifice. Jesus' own words is referring back to the Old Testament to Moses when he says in John chapter 6, verse 53, then Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life and will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. So here the Lord is saying, it's a prophecy that he would die for us and that you have to believe in his flesh and blood that he died on the cross for us. That's in John chapter 6. The blood saves you, the blood cleanses you. We've looked at Adam was given skins. Abraham, Abraham was told to sacrifice. We've seen Abel sacrifice. We've seen Moses sacrifice. Even Ezekiel believed in the sacrifice. Why were the sacrifices? Because we have an old covenant that points to the Messiah would come. And you keep quoting Hebrews. Hebrews proves the point that you're trying to disprove that he is expounding the Old Testament and he's showing you in the book of Hebrews there had to be a sacrifice. Now, in the Old Testament we have prophets, priests and kings. Jesus is the final prophet, the final priest and the final king. There was a high priest in the Old Testament. Jesus is the final high priest who died for us. He gave his life for us on the cross, brother. So, uh, one last argument, an argument, right? Alec, uh, God cannot just forgive. If you rape someone, right, you rape a thousand women, you rape a thousand women and you win the lottery and you help a million people with a million pounds and you get caught for raping thousands of women and you come to the court and you say, oh judge, forgive me because I have helped millions of people with millions of pounds. The judge will send you down for your rape. God has to judge. If he judge you, you will go to hell. But Christ stepped in your place. He shed his blood. Without that blood, my man, you are lost, brother. You are lost. Even your old prophet did not know he was saved. And you don't know you're saved. And then this is the last one for me because of time. I'll let you finish. 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 Okay. Well, I'm Look, I, you know, you know, didn't address that. I said this was said. Okay, John 5 46. If you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. What did Moses write about Jesus? Crucifixion, resurrection. What Paul said, for as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sin. He did not even address that. Paul is the one said it. But if you read about it, you know, God said, God said, I'm sorry for these pastors. I think that is even in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, uh, verse number 25. God said, even I, even I am he, I, even I am he, who lost as your transgressions, who forgive your sins for my own sake. Do you know the verse in the Bible? Do you know the verse for the book in the Bible? In second book of Chronicles, 
chapter number 7, verse number 14. Chronicles 7, 14, second chronicle. God said, if my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Do you not understand that? So what do you mean that God cannot forgive them? What do you want to say? What do you mean by I want to know? <laughs> even Jesus speaks about look, Jesus there yeah, even laments about about uh how do you call it? Jesus even said, let me say let me go to YouTube for that. Because Old Testament, we will go to Old Testament. Yeah, he says that in fact, no, in one more in the book of Psalms, chapter seven, verse 49 says that no one passing. I don't know whether you are this fast. Uh, in the book of, in the book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse number 41. No one can redeem the life of another. No one can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for them. When you say Jesus came to die for the people of mankind, the Old Testament debunks that. I want you to prove to me a verse from the Old Testament where any of the prophets subscribe to this concept. Hebrews 9 22. Without a shedding of blood, there is no atonement. Because in Old Testament said people sin and they turn to Almighty God and they forgive their sins. No, it could be. You are not addressing it. So as you can see, Israel me, as I quoted the Quran in the beginning, Adam and Eve sin, and pray to Allah Allah forgive their sin, sin kind of inherited. You see, Old Testament, I can go on several parts of the Old Testament. To the man, to the to the man, 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 to the I just wonder, do you want to just an open friendly chat where <laughs> you ask me and we just talk for three, three minutes? No, we are talking about the same topic. So, so, so like, the same topic. It's not your time, my time. No, it's not that. Yes, I want to, don't, same topic. Don't yeah, go, your prophet, your this, same yeah, topic. Because I was talking to you, you are going about prophet, you are disrespecting. And we did it. We said from the beginning, no, you're on camera. Your prophet, your prophet this. I said, let's stick to the point. We'll stick to the point. No, but you're going to a prophet. No, no, you don't know what I'm saying. Because I know you guys. No. Why do you digress then? I'm trying to. But why? No, why do you, why do you say something bad about us? No, why? Just calm down. No, I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Listen, I'm trying to help you too. Wait, wait. Listen, listen. Okay, listen. We've done three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, why, why don't we just talk? Listen, listen. Like, like, anyway, like, we can like, talk. I don't. Listen, we can talk. Oh, this, we end. Listen, because you've got your time. Can you make your people talk? I say we can't talk. I, I finished. Listen to me. I, I say we can't talk. But you people in that place, he's not your listing. But let me stop. You're attacking me now. No, I'm not attacking you. Let's leave it. We're done. Can I talk? We're done. We're done for three minutes. I can't give you the time to talk. You have your future. No, the baby's finished now. So I'm going to go now. He's tired. I want to call both of the Bible. As you can see. As you can see. The Old Testament. The bank is me. Jesus came to die for the son of mankind. Hebrews 9.22. Without the shedding of blood, there is no atonement. And I quoted John 5.46. He don't deal with it. Why Jesus said, if you believe Moses, you believe me. So he wrote about me. So I'm going to go now. There's two different Qurans. I showed him the son of manuscript as two Qurans. I showed him that we're arguing from the prophets. I showed him from Adam there was a sacrifice. They had skin. I showed him Abel had a sacrifice. I showed him Abraham had a sacrifice. I showed him that Moses had a sacrifice. He quoted Ezekiel. Ezekiel believed in the temple sacrifice. He kept quoting Hebrews, which proves against him that there's a sacrifice. We, we gave Jesus' own words he was a sacrifice. He said in John 6, I give my blood to drink, my body to, to, to eat. He's talking about sacrifice. So whichever way you look at it, and he admits that Paul teaches sacrifice. So whichever way you look at it, he talks about the Quran is an authority about Jesus not dying, but we showed that's a Gnostic belief. He got that from Gnosticism. There's no evidence that Jesus did not die. We believe in eyewitnesses. Matthew and eyewitness, John and eyewitness. So whichever way you look at it, but I quoted Isaiah 53, and he was never able to answer that. The ancient rabbis know that that was about the Messiah. Many rabbis know that. So uh, I gave him respect. I let him talk. 
But he didn't prove his point. Now, just last thing. Okay, okay. He doesn't believe the Bible is the word of God. But in order to prove his point, half the time he's quoting the Bible. He's quoting the Bible, and yet he doesn't believe the Bible. He's quoting verses in the Bible, yet he doesn't believe it. So he's, a con he's contradictory, and he's looking at the Bible through Quran eyes. If you look at the Bible, Jesus clearly said this, I give my life a ransom for many. We have four Gospels based on eyewitnesses that Christ died. Mark used Peter as an eyewitness. Luke collected eyewitnesses. John was an eyewitness. Matthew was an eyewitness. The Old Testament prophesied the Messiah would die. Psalm, 19, 20, Psalm 22, they pierced my hands and my feet. Psalm 50, Isaiah 53, he was bruised for our iniquities. The temple sacrifice pointed to a final sacrifice. Abraham was taught to sacrifice his son. A ram was provided. That ram was in a thorn bush. When Jesus died on the cross, he had thorns on his head. Right. So it points to Jesus as a sacrifice. Without that blood, you are lost. And I pointed in the Quran yeah. that Muhammad doubted his faith. So his doctrine yeah. does not give you an assurance of salvation. He doesn't have an assurance of salvation. Inshallah. No Muslim has an assurance of salvation. Why? Because they don't have the blood of Jesus Christ. And finally, he said, Paul, 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 but John, in 1 John, talks about the blood. Revelation says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Right, that's right. Well done, J-Bone. Well done, J-Bone.